Hey guys, coming to with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you can't make calls or receive call after updating to iOS 17, the latest version, which is 17.1.1. A lot of users have reported that they are not able to make calls after doing this update. So you want to follow these tips that we're going to show you. And hopefully by end of it, it will fix it for you. So let's get started. So the very first thing whenever you're having this issue is simply pull down the control menu from the top here. Put your phone on airplane mode briefly like that for about 5 to 10 seconds and turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh so that any connectivity issue you're having will be uh, resolved. Now see if you can make a call. Now if you're still having an issue, the next thing you want to do on your iPhone is a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, which is again different from just a normal turn on and on and off, is you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down one after another. So you're going to press these two buttons in sequence and finally hold the side button on the right hand side until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear at that time you let go of that button. So do volume up, volume down and then finally hold this side button and do not slide to power off like the screen says because that will be just a normal turn off. We want to force the phone to completely shut down and then reload the code by holding that button which will force it to turn on again and that's known as a forced restart one of the effective ways to resolve most software related issue if for some reason during this process when you press volume up and down or you press the side button siri activates that means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough and this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone it's just reloading the code so if you did a recent update it will again help resolve any software issues that might have been brought with the update itself now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is see if there's a carrier update for your iphone now the carrier update one is slightly uh, odd but the way you usually check it is you go into your setting of your iphone and then you go to general and then go to the about section here and then you want to just be on this page for about a moment or so and there might be a pop-up that comes up that says carrier update and you can click on that update if there is and if there isn't like here it won't come up here so this is slightly different but that's kind of the way you want to do it. The other setting you want to check in your settings is in the main setting here under cellular. You want to ensure for your carrier, it shows up your carrier like this one I have, and that turn this line on and this line is turned on. If for some reason this got turned off, you'll not be able to make or receive calls. So ensure that your carrier shows up with this option and all of your information is available for you right there. Now the next thing uh, to check if you're still having issues is that this is an eSIM card, but a phone that has a physical SIM card, if you're still using the physical SIM card, like the iPhone uh, 12 and older, right? You need to take the SIM card out and then just put it back in. Just We're just going to take the SIM, physical SIM card out and put it back in. And usually if you have this tool, the SIM ejector tool that comes in the packet of your iPhone, or if you don't have this, you can take a paper clip like this and bend it till it becomes like a pointy tool which you're going to take the physical SIM card out by going into where the physical SIM slot is, usually on the left-hand side here with the hole. could sometimes be on the right-hand side for older models, but you'll take this tool, simply push it in to pop that SIM tray out, right? It'll take the SIM tray out, and then we're going to reinsert the SIM right back in. That will reinitialize your phone carrier services, and if there's an update, it will also update the carrier as well kind of a troubleshooting step that you want to do if you have a physical SIM card. Now the next thing you want to check on your iPhone is that you're not using any focus mode or do not disturb. To check that it's going to be really simple. You're going to open up your setting of your iPhone. This time when you open up your setting of your iPhone under focus mode here you want to ensure that do not disturb here isn't on for you so you don't want that on and any of these other settings as well. Basically you want that turned off and that's going to be important because if you have it turned on it will show up here or if you have this on it's going to look like this you're going to click on it to turn off in the control menu or any of these other ones as sometimes those limit what kind of things you can do especially if you're making calls or receiving calls certain calls will not come through so make sure your focus mode and do not disturb are turned off just like this now after you have done that the next thing you want to check on your iphone is the time and the date of it i know it sounds a little weird but whenever you're traveling and moving around or if your time is to your local area is different from what's showing on your phone you need to adjust it to do that you're going to be setting up your iphone go to general 
the OSS a date and time, you want to ensure that set automatically picks up the right time. Now, if it doesn't, you want to turn it off briefly, choose your time zone that you're in, and then adjust the times manually and the date as well if they're incorrect. Again, this happens if you're traveling or some, somehow it doesn't pick up the local time zone, but the most ideal setting is to leave it on automatically. But like I said, in a case that it doesn't pick it up automatically, just manually set it and then come back and set it automatically. Now, if you've done that and you're still having issues with the calling of your iPhone, the next thing you want to do is a network reset. So in order to do that in the setting of your iPhone, go to general here, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on that. And then we're going to do the first option which says reset here. And we're going to do again, the second option where it says reset and network settings. When you do a network resettings, it doesn't delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. What it does do delete is settings like saved Wi-Fi password, any uh, Bluetooth connected devices and any connectivity devices that you have. But it's important to do this because if you're having connectivity issue, it will reset it. It will not delete your physical or your eSIM card that you have installed. You're just doing a quick network reset, but it's important to do that whenever you're having issues with making or receiving phone call. Finally, as you know, the new update 17.1.1 kind of caused some issues and there's been users reporting this to Apple and Apple is most likely going to release another update if there is a fix that they can do, which most likely they'll come out with. If so, you need to go ahead and update your phone to check if there's an update available, go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general, software update, and if there is a software update, it will show up like here, and all you'll do is click on update, and now here, if you haven't updated, and once you do that, make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged, you either have a strong cellular data or Wi-Fi data, and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to successfully install the update if Apple releases another version update for it. And hopefully after that, your phone's issues are resolved. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.